Sonnet Technologies. Latest Thunderbolt dock has an SSD. The question is, can you upgrade the Echo 13 Thunderbolt 5 dock with your own NVMe SSD? This is one of the first Thunderbolt 5 docks on the market, presenting double the bandwidth of Thunderbolt 4 at up to 80 gigabits per second. Plus, it has an internal SSD for extra storage. But the big question we'll answer today, can you upgrade that SSD yourself? Let's find out. This dock is packed with connectivity options. On the front, we have two Thunderbolt 5 ports, USB-A port, an SD and micro SD card reader, a 3.5 meter audio jack. And on the back, three USB-A ports, one 2.5 gigabit ethernet port, two Thunderbolt 5 ports and DC power input. The standout feature is Thunderbolt 5 connectivity, which can handle up to two 8K displays. And of course, something unique in a Thunderbolt 5 dock is the built-in SSD with options for one, two, or four terabytes. Can users upgrade the SSD themselves, or is this another sealed, proprietary, closed system? After inspecting the device, we've discovered something interesting. Unlike most devices where you'd access components from the bottom, the SSD in this dock appears to be accessible from the top ventilation panel. You can see this ventilation panel has a clip system. Let's carefully remove it. With some gentle pressure, the panel comes off, revealing a heatsink block. This is covering what I suspect is our SSD. The heatsink is held in place by two set screws. Let me remove these set screws first. Now comes the tricky part. The heatsink is likely secured with adhesive. For this, we'll want to use a plastic tool to avoid damaging any components. After we carefully lift around the edges with a plastic pry tool, and there it is. The SSD is user upgradable. It's a standard M2 NVMe SSD in the 2280 form factor. This means you can upgrade or replace it yourself with any compatible NVMe drive like this Western Digital 8 terabyte NVMe SSD drive. The upgrade process is a bit more involved than we might have expected, but it's absolutely doable. Now for a performance test. Let's connect this to our Apple MacBook Pro M4 Max, which supports Thunderbolt 5, and see how the Sonnet Tech Echo 13 SSD performs with a replacement 8 terabyte Western Digital NVMe drive installed. The dock is recognized immediately. We're getting power delivery to our laptop. All our peripherals are connected through a single cable, and we can see that the replacement 8 TBOD Western Digital NVMe drive showing up. Let's do a quick transfer test. We're seeing read speeds of about 5,000 and write speeds over 4,200, and this is with the drive formatted as XFAT. That's impressive for an external drive and close to Sonnet's claimed speeds. Comparatively, when we look at another 4 terabyte Samsung 990 Pro SSD NVMe drive in a standalone Treblit Thunderbolt 5 enclosure connected directly to the MacBook Pro with M4 Max chipset. When formatted in the APFS, Apple File System, format, we see write speeds over 6300 and read speeds over 5800. Now so, let's reformat the 8 terabyte drive in the Sonnet Tech Echo 13 to increase the potential read and write speed. Since we will use the hub and SSD combo exclusively on Mac OS, we are reformatting the drive to the APFS Apple file system. And we now see read and write speeds both over 5,600. Wow, this is awesome. So in conclusion, after our hands-on investigation of the Sonnet Tech Echo 13 Thunderbolt 5 dock SSD, here's what we've discovered. Cutting edge Thunderbolt 5 connectivity, excellent USB, ethernet, and SD port capabilities, sleek, durable design, user upgradable SSD for future expansion. In summary, while Sonnet doesn't advertise the upgradability of the NVMe SSD, we've confirmed it's absolutely possible with some careful DIY work. This upgrade option adds significant value to the Sonnet Tech Echo 13 dock, allowing you to start with a smaller, more affordable SSD and upgrade later as your needs grow. It's especially valuable for creative professionals working with large files for high resolution images, 4K video, high resolution audio or immersive audio who need that extra speed and storage. That's it for today's video. If you have any ideas about how you would use the doc, drop them in the comments below.